So today we will synthesize some trans pass line on the grid. So I make BPM slightly higher. Let's say 150. 150. What do you think? 150 is okay. I think it's okay. Okay, so here I change. Okay, I make now figure interface. Like this, now it's bigger. So BPM I have here, I change BPM now. For example, I want to use the kick we did before. So what I will do, I go here on the right side in the browser. In the right corner, there is a files icon. So I go there and the first line is current project, current project. Then the last one in the list is recent projects. So I open here, here are my recent projects. This was lesson four. I open it and I see all the channels we did last time. It's actually projects, all the channels. So what I want to do, this was a group with kick and bass. This is kick that I built last time. So I just drag and drop it here. Okay. Yep. So we hear it now here. So you can drag and drop channels from any project that you're working recently. You can open it here in the browser in the recent projects. So we have it here already. The kick I did last time. So maybe we we'll drop something else. The drum machine. Okay, I will drop drum machine from a last project. Okay, we have some snares here. Good. So, now let's make one more instrument channel and let's try to build the bass line. The bass line. We put grid, polygrid. I put here polygrid. We build the clip. Select time with range. Make loop with L. Normally, bus and kick I keep all, always in a group so I can expect them, see the waveform. Now I put them in a group. New group. Here I can make a name for this group kick and bus. Okay. So now I will just draw 
Simple sequence to work with. Some pumping bus line. Then we will do 16 bus line, but let's first work with this one. Let's open grid. Here we have output. This is a amplitude envelope. We will keep it. We will not change it. Let's keep it. So for bus line, we use soft tools oscillator normally. So this is soft tools. You can right click on model and change from a list. Or you can go here in the browser, choose oscillators and drop oscillator here. Next, we need a filter. We go to the filter section. Here we can choose from a bunch of filters. You can experiment with them because they're slightly different sounding, all of them. So let's take this one, LED, the ladder. Then we will drop a mixer. Uh -huh. Another envelope to control a cutoff of a bus line. We need one more envelope. This is envelope. So we take analog decay envelope. Okay, from here we go here. In models, in most of them, like this input output on the top, like in uh, envelopes, you can send audio through and control uh, decay of amplitude, but to control other parameters, you take from here, from blue point, and we connect it here. So it should work now. Mm -hmm. Oscillator is not connected. So let's connect. I put here two oscillators and we will need two oscillators i will show you why now now we need a mixer mix we'll drop a mixer from mixer sound will go to filter And now we will connect two oscillators here. So we connect, we can now control the volume. So let's check sound. Okay, we already have something looks like bus line, but it's too much resonance here. Okay, we need to, uh, I think, to move one octave down. We can do it uh, there in the MIDI lane, or we can do it here. Like here, we control the division. We can here go octave up or octave down. Um, 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 um. 
sound. Well, we have the kind of bass line. Normally, normally, I put two envelopes to control uh, filter as same as I do for uh, kick. One to control the very, very first part of bass line to make it more punchy. I open it and another control the body of bass line, the filtering. So let's put one more. And I love. Now we put ADSR. So to use both of them, we need one more mixer. Here is the mixer. Let's connect both of them to the mixer. And here to cut off. So now let's check why we need two, not one. Because with this, with AD, analog decay, I can make this. I can control the first, the very first part of the bus line. And with the second one, I can open. Here. control the body sustain Economical sustain to control the body so as you can hear it's now plays only this oscillator this we keep for later experiments as you hear the sounds is already like bus line but uh, it's drifting so it's all the time the waves start from a different position to lock position. So every each note is start from the same position. We have it here this button. So we lock the face. We can lock the face. And we can actually control the face, the start position of the bus line uh, oscillator. This is give us some very nice option, especially on 16 bus line, fast bus line. So to control this, we need to go to the, let me check, level. and take this value button. And now we can connect it to the face input, both of them. So they all, both of them start from the same, same position. Let's check if we hear any difference. Okay, and you need, let's try with the level. 
maybe levels will, will work better. to trigger a nose now let's try to take it off okay now it seems stable but as I remember we need this value not level okay Uh huh. Not here. This is face. If we connect here, we just turn on and turn off this uh, parameter. But this is blue one. Hit the face. If we put here our parameter, we can control the face. So here we make amount full on. One hundred percent. Now we can control. So this is simple base that we can build on a grid. And it sounds really, really good. So next, let's check how they mix together, kick and bass. For this, I use oscilloscope. I want to see this waveform. It's very important to see this waveform. Okay, let's open it so we can see. Yes, we see the bus needs slightly more volume. What I'm doing also, I'm checking how they mix together on the low frequencies, because uh, sometimes, even for me, 